Benjamin. I know, Asa. I knocked over the master's water pail, and I made a mess again, but it was an accident. Uh huh. Hmm. Goats are supposed to be sure-footed, and I'm sure not. I'm a lousy excuse for a goat. I don't fit in. Oh, Benjamin, Benjamin, Benjamin. Walk with me to the stable. I want to tell you a story. What kind of a story, Asa? A story about how God has a special place for everyone. Even goats who bump into things. Oh, well, wait for me. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ouch. Fine. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Look where Benjamin's landed. It's the very place where something happened that changed the world forever. Right here? Are you sure? Nothing exciting ever happens in this stable. Ah, but there you are wrong, Peter. Our story begins three decades ago. That means 30 years. Wow, that's before I was born. Before we were all born. I was a young camel and full of life. Come on, Asa. Come on. This is the most stubborn camel I have ever met. We shouldn't take him to the marketplace in Jerusalem. He'll be nothing but trouble. He is nothing but trouble. Let's leave him here with Father and take the donkey instead. Excellent idea, brother. Asa. I was quite content to stay just where I was. May we take the donkey, Father? Yes. But here's your list. Now be back by tomorrow with the supplies. Travelers are already arriving. The inn will be full of guests. I can help, Papa. <laughs> Indeed you can, little brother. You can do our chores, or we're away. Hey, if we hurry, we'll have some free time in Jerusalem. Good idea. Nothing exciting ever happens here in Bethlehem. You can get up now. They're gone. I'm comfortable like this. <laughs> if I crossed my legs like that, well, my milk would be cottage cheese by the time I got up. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Where do you suppose they're all going? To the place of their birth. It's the census. Well, they are to be counted. Oh, people. People are always counting something. Money, days in the year, sheep. Sheep! Samuel and his flock are back. Come along now, little ones. Uncle Samuel! Oh, hello, Jacob. Papa, Uncle Samuel's here. How are you, my brother? Good, God be praised, but very tired. My flock needs fresh grass. They've eaten the valley there. Then I'm glad you're home. Tomorrow, I will show you a green pasture just up the hill. Oh, look. Your lambs are getting bigger. Yes, take a look at Isaac. He's grown into a fine young lamb. Oh, he is beautiful. Can I play with him? Not right now, Jacob. Your uncle is tired. We must fix him something to eat. Did you hear what they called me? Big, fine, beautiful. That's me. Who's the lamb who jumps so high that you think he could 
fly. Who's the finest, strongest, and biggest in the flock? With a coat so terrific, you're about to stop and talk. I'm Isaac, I'm better, I'm best. In my dreams, I'm big and strong, and I leap like a deer. If my dreams came true, oh, how perfect life would be. I can be as good as others. I'll jump, just wait and see. I'm Joshua, I'm good as the rest. We can't all be the top at whatever we may try. Everybody is different for one thing. And there's no one on Earth who does everything well. But everyone's good at something. I was put here on this earth, so I must have some worth. But a lamb must jump, and you really failed the test. I believe that someday you will learn that you are blessed. I'm better than you, I'm the best. I'm weak, I'm strong. But you both belong. I'm smaller, I'm last. I'm better, I'm best. Oh, poor little lamb. You know him well? Well, yes. Josh was the sweetest little fellow. <laughs> we have spent many hours in the fields together during the summer when Samuel's flock stays here. His mother and father? Well, both gone. He is alone in the world. Oh. How was he crippled? He was born that way. What could God have possibly planned for this lamb? So small, so helpless. Now that's a good question. What happened next? Slow down. Think about my question. What could God have planned? It's a mystery to me. Tell us more, Isa, please. Oh, all right. All right. That night, Abigail the cow tried to help little Joshua. But he was deeply troubled. <laughs> oh, have you seen the stars tonight, Joshua? I'm not interested. Well, you should really look. Oh, they are so beautiful. There are so many stars, and each one different and special in its own way. But stars always shine. They're never sad, and they never get hurt. Even though some stars shine brighter than others, each one has its place in God's sky. Yeah, well, I'm not a star, and I'm tired of my place. In fact, I hate my place. I'm always last. I want to be like Isaac. First. Start out for the green pasture on his own, so he would be the first one there in the morning and surprise them all. At night, even on a moonlit night, it was a very dangerous path. I'll be the first one there. I'll surprise them all. <gasps> It's okay, it's okay. No problem. Uh, I'm not scared. Nope. <laughs> not me. Mm -mm. Nope. Whoa! <gasps> 
Well, who do we have here? An unexpected dinner guest? <laughs> This is just too easy. Help. <laughs> oh, no one's here to help you. I'm afraid you are all alone. I hope you'll stick around for a bite. <laughs> little lamb, little lamb, your time has come. <laughs> The shepherd saved Joshua's life. He sure did. I'd be too scared to go off by myself alone at night. Ah, Joshua was very lucky. He was in the hands of a good shepherd who cared for his sheep. We'll be back in the morning. Did you really fight off a lion with your staff? <laughs> Word travels fast here in Bethlehem. I need to put you someplace where you'll be safe and not wander off again. You must stay here, my crippled lamb. Come along now, little ones. So long, little slow poke. Bye, Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. Leave me alone, Abigail. Oh, but I want to help you. You can't. No one can. God has a special place for those who feel left out. God has forgotten me. He made me crippled and now he's stuck me in this smelly stable. I'll never ever get to taste that new green grass my friends get to eat. <laughs> Joshua was in a horrible place. He thought that he was forgotten by sheep and God alike. <sighs> Poor guy. I hate feeling left out. Everybody does. Yeah, I know just how Joshua felt. Ha <laughs> ha But you see, Joshua wasn't left out or forgotten because God had a much bigger purpose in mind for our crippled lamb. <laughs> Come close, little lamb, and lay down your head. Daylight is sleeping, and it's time for bed. The sky is a blanket of starlight above. God looks at his world and smiles down with love. Sleep safe from harm, you're in the arms of love. Don't fret, little one, your troubles will keep. You're in God's arms and he'll rock you. Sorry, but the stable is all that I have. 
The inn is completely full. This will be fine. Mm. Papa, some guests need you right now. Please, please excuse me. We have so many guests tonight. We understand, thank you. This is very kind of you. Slow down, stranger. Well, what's your name? Nathaniel. You must be exhausted. We have been journeying many days from the town of Nazareth. In Galilee? Uh-huh. Well, then you had to come through Samaria, and then all the way to our tiny town in Judea? Oh, yes. My master Joseph is a member of the royal line, so we must go to King David's ancient home to be counted. Please tell me this is Bethlehem. Oh, it is. His wife is going to have a baby. Yes, my master's wife Mary is due to have her baby any second, and there's no place anywhere in town. Well, except for our stable. I am sure that the straw must feel better than my back. Joseph, I think it's time. Jesus laid down his feet. Look! Head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus sleep on We shall name him Jesus, just as the angel told me. Mm -hmm. I can't find anything to keep him warm. Oh, it's so cold tonight. I think the shepherd took the blanket with him. I'm sorry, Mary. This is all I could find. Look, Joseph. This little lamb will keep him warm. This is no ordinary baby. No. This is the one. Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, good will toward men. That was the most amazing moment in the history of the world. God's Son had been born here in Bethlehem. Samuel and his flock hurried back from the fields. Matthew and Jacob came from the inn. Even Daniel and David, who had just returned from Jerusalem, arrived. Joshua, do you know who this baby is? He does now. God has heard your prayers, little lamb. This baby is the answer. At that moment, Joshua understood why he had been born with a crippled leg. If he had been just like other sheep, 
he would have been up on the hill in the green pasture that night. But since he was different, he was in the stable helping to keep the baby Jesus warm. So you see, I was witness to all that happened here that night. So, Benjamin, I am sure that God has a purpose for all of us, even not so sure-footed goats. You're right. Thank you, Asa. Asa, what happened to the baby? Yeah! Tell us the rest of his story. There are many more stories about Jesus that this old camel could tell. But that's for another time. Tonight, let's celebrate that the King of Kings, God's own Son, who came from heaven, was born in this humble stable and lives forever. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the poor baby wakes, but i